G'day viewers, um, welcome to, I think this is my second mailbox, I had a delivery today from a, a friend in America uh, who doesn't want to be named and I've been expecting this and I've been waiting for it to come so I could get started on it and uh, it's been packed well, I haven't actually gone any further than this. I just had a, a quick look and then got to this stage and thought I'll wait. But uh, it looks to me like it's been packed really well. Um, I'm really hoping it's not broken. Geez, they've really gone over town on the, the packing. It's good. Uh, this should be, hopefully, a Corningware dish. I have, ironically, I have trouble finding these in Australia, even though Corningware is Australian made. For some reason, there's so much of it in America, it doesn't make sense to me why, but you think it would be everywhere here. And uh, people that have got it usually just don't want to let go of it because they know it's good, so good. So, uh, my friend saw one and grabbed it for me, which I really appreciate. And uh, it's uh, not so easy to get out of the box by itself. One hand, just two seconds while I unwrap it. Well, buddy, you did a good, good job. It's uh, arrived in one piece, thanks to your brilliant packaging. No cracks, no chips. It's turned out perfect. Now it's going to be really handy. And he also said that he sent a few extra things along for me to process. And I'll just open this tape up and I'll spread it out in this bolt so we can see. Okay. So, from what he's told me, there's some sort of diode in here and a ring. Now I've, I've started collecting some of these already and I was just about to process them when he told me he sent them some along. So I waited and held off and I'm going to add what I've got to what he sent. It's a nice little pile of I think they're called diodes. I'll have to do some research on that and make sure. Well, that is a nice solid ring. Not sure what that says. Radio Shack. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what carrot it is, probably by, by the weight of it, probably 14 carat. I don't know. I'll have to have a look at that later with a loop. So these are the diodes that he sent me. And a nice big one for you to see close up. Um, now, he asked me if there's gold inside these. And I said, I have no idea. I've never done them. So that's why we both started saving them. And we'll hopefully see what's in them. So along with what I've got. So for those who are interested, they're just a... Uh, black round Hello? thingy with a grey band on them. I don't know why we can see that. Grey band there. It's easier on his, his are bigger. Easier to see. So I don't know what's inside these and I'm keen to find out. That's why I've been patiently waiting for his parcel because I've been wanting to put them with mine so I can do them all together. I don't know how much is there, probably 
uh, maybe 200 grams. Now when they come off the board, they've got long legs on them. I left one to show you. And with mine, I've trimmed them as close as I can get because any extra steel hanging off is just going to needlessly be consumed by the nitric acid and nitric acid is expensive. So I try not to use any more than I have to. So I'll go over these one more time and make sure I get every little bit of metal that I can. I've got this nice pair of cutters. They've got a really fine tip on them. And they're quite sharp. Uh, they're not very strong. I've actually broken about four pairs. But they're good for getting close up. So I'll give them a run over and take any bits of steel off. Even the tiniest bits are going to help stop me consuming acid. And I uh, should have these ready to go by tomorrow. We've got a few things on tomorrow morning, so I'll spend the rest of the day today trimming them. And tomorrow afternoon I'll start processing them. And see what we get, see if there is gold inside them or any other kind of precious metal. So, <clears throat> got the dish, the diodes, and this awesome ring which I'll have to have a look at with a loop. So, to my buddy in America, you're an awesome guy, I tell you what, thank you so much. This is the second time he's uh, sent me things, and I really appreciate it. I appreciate anybody who uh, helps to support my channel. Um, alrighty, so, I'll leave it there for now. Uh, just wanted to show you guys and to say thanks. Let you know that it turned up safe. And uh, if anyone else wants to send things, they're always appreciated. But anyway, I'll leave it there for now and I'll get cracking on these and start trimming them up. And I'll see you on the next video. They'll be not too far away. Okay, bye for now. See ya.